history here. So, for those that don't know what a ganjo is, it's a hook, right? That's okay. My expect a lot of people don't know that. So, it's a hooking action. So, I'm going to borrow uh, on here to show you guys what this will look like. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can ganjo. The lady can lead the ganjo, the guys can lead the ganjo. It just depends. Um, so, right now, I'll lead my partner to ganjo me. Since we were doing forward ochos, we'll stop on that. So, I'll lead her for a forward ocho. Okay? And then right here, as I enter this one, I'll just put my foot in, drop my hand down to her belly, bring her back, she ganchos, and then goes forward back in her ocho again. So it's just a little leg hook. You can do it from another position as well, too. I can lead it from a reverse ocho. So I can lead it from here. She's going back. Boom, gancho. Right? Okay, here, gancho again. That's okay. So there's a lot of different ways you can lead it, right? The guys can gauch a little bit, the ladies. Um, but the technique for it is really important because in a gancho, to do it correctly, what you want to have, there should be a rotation through the center when you do this. So when the lady's coming back, we'll just work from, we'll, we'll, this is a great exercise, just going from one foot to the next. So I'm on my forward leg, I'm going to come back, I plant onto the other foot, in this case it's going to be left, I rotate to the left and have a hook action with the leg. So now, what I'm doing is, it's almost like I like to use the analogy of the bull that's about to run, he's kind of throwing the dirt back behind him. Imagine you got the dirt back, you're trying to throw that dirt back behind you. And now, from here, when you do this, okay, you want to you want to turn from the hip first, get the knee back, then get the knee up. Because a lot of mistakes that people make, and ladies do, is they go like this, they go like that. They lift the knee up and they hook it here, right? You want to get the thigh back first, then get the knee up, okay? So don't get in the habit of you do this, okay? You come forward, you plant back on this, this foot, get your stability on as best you can, and then throw that leg back behind you and hook. And you should have an action where you're kind of squeezing your partner's leg inside of the back of, if this is the leg, it would be the back of the knee right here, trying to kind of get my partner in the back right there, right? So that's just one of the, the techniques. So when I have my partner here, all right, I'll lead her to do an ocho here, so she's here. I'm gonna come back. Now, what I want her to do, come back, and I wanna try to get her to squeeze my leg there. It's okay, come back. I don't want you to kind of spasm on the leg. Boom, so try to, really, it's almost like you're trying to hook, go, go a little slower, and try to try to almost pinch my leg in the back of your knee there. Go up, pinch, and then down. Yeah. Now, there should be rotation to the body here, so come more, a little bit more forward. Good. Boom, and then down. Just go slow. Boom, and then down. Try to get that leg back further. Right. So let's all come on to the floor. We're going to practice this for a second. We do one leg and the other. So again, then, how we lead? We'll do that in one second. We're just going to work with the technique first, then I'll show the leads on the end. So you're going forward. Okay, it's good for the guys to know how to lead this as well, or to, to do this technique as well too. So, my weight's forward, I'm going to transfer back onto my left, rotate through my center here, and then throw 